All right, how's it going, everyone? Good morning, good morning, or afternoon, or evening. It is pretty early morning here. I realized while I was sitting here doing my intonations that I haven't shared a video. At least I don't believe I've shared a video about what a lot of <clears throat> these books are talking about as intonation. There are other names for it as well, but essentially there is power in the spoken word. Yes, a lot of these names have power when they are spoken internally, <clears throat> but there is something about bringing a connection between wind and earth, or concepts and the physical vibration. One of the reasons why I, and potentially many other practitioners, suggest to begin with intonation and mantra first, whenever people are first starting out, <clears throat> is because for one, if the aspirant or initiate or neophyte, if you will, doesn't have any sense of their fire or water or their etheric force and their astral essence, so to speak, giving them a sort of top and bottom stimulation, which would be the wind and the earth, giving them that can help stir the things in between. If the, if the initiate has an awareness of these fields and they don't have them in balance or harmony, then mantra and the intonation of certain sacred sounds can help to bring about a balance within, or a harmony within those forces. So, I'm going to do my best to portray the way that I intone these sacred sounds and syllables, so to speak, when I am doing my invocations and evocations. Um, when I do infernal, evocations is a little bit different. Um, I will tend to drop the syllables down. Um, don't really, just in case there's any like beginners or whatever, I'm not going to start vibrating demonic or infernal names. We'll just move on. This is so distracting. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm going to meet one of my friends in a little bit and he has a project called Olivalon. I don't even know if I can show off how awesome this shirt is, this uh, hoodie, but it, uh, it's an awesome shirt. And his his band is an awesome band, E-L-V-E-L-Y-V-I-L-O-N. Uh, great fantasy genre artist. But so yeah, I'm gonna try to not be distracted by this little this, this logo here. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> when you are doing these intonations, so to speak, you want to, in my experience, and in a lot of pe at, at a lot of people's suggestion, you want to try to draw them out as long as feasibly possible. And you want to try to perform them in a way which causes it to radiate throughout your whole body. For me, that's doing it a little bit more low, though I have noticed sometimes when I hit a little bit higher pitches, <laughs> um, you get a sort of overtone sound. Uh, and one example of that is if you vibrate amen a certain way, um, like om. <laughs> It can create an overtone like this. <clears throat> um, 
and now I'm not sure how, how much that picks up on on the uh, the the recorder here, but uh, the A U M G N is essentially what I'm doing, and the vibration of that in a specific way causes an overtone to happen within the nasal cavity and a vibration to happen within the body. Another example, <clears throat> I guess I could just run through um, a simple version of the Kabbalistic cross and the middle pillar really quickly as an example. Now, um, my, my speaking voice is higher than my intonation voice. So having been speaking for five minutes straight here, um, these pitches are going to be a little bit off, but I think that will give you a, a pretty good idea. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Typically in the Western tradition, this is what is meant by an intonation. So if you are to intone the names of the Kabbalistic cross, they would sound like this a lot of times. for the Archangels.
Ochad Ruach Elohim Chayim. Anyway, there you go. That is one example of intonation. Um, so just in, as an example of what I mean, um, there's two ways that I typically will do like a demonic intonation. Um, either <laughs> as soon as I started vibrating Adonai Ha'aretz, a train started rumbling the ground and blowing its horn. But uh, I'll use Shaddai Elkai, um, which, if you know a little bit of Hebrew, is somewhat relevant to a demonic invocation. But uh, typically, I will either drop the vowel down, like, Shaddai Elkai, like that. Or I will do some form of, like, actual goedia, uh, growling, howling, um, Think like black metal vocals. I'm not going to do it on here. But uh, yeah, this video has gone on long enough. Um, but I hope that it was useful to some of you. It might have even been initiatory for some of you. Who knows? Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns below, please. Also, feel free to email me as well. <laughs> email me. <laughs> um, and have a great rest of the day. Great rest of the week, great rest of the month, great rest of the year. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you in another video at some point. Take care.